Hey, great students! Welcome back to our video lesson. And again, this is the part two of our lesson, the full concept about valence electron as well as electron configuration. But before I proceed to this lesson, I would like to say thank you to all those students who participated and contributed their ideas about this concept. I would like also to say thank you to my co-teachers in science. Uh, we have um, Sir Charlie and Mam Jill, as well as those students who are under with them, lahat ng mga sections na hawak niya. Thank you because I was able to see all your um, posts, your comments, your answers in our Let's Check the Understanding and I'm very happy because I found out that you have grasped something, you have learned something about valence electron and this time it's about time to go deeper about electron configuration. Ano nga bang electron configuration? So check this out in our part 2. But in the first um, concept, so we will be having a simple recall about valence electrons. So again, watch na. So before that, allow me to have this short introduction. Kick. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, in the next example, so look at the number. We have 1, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p4. So look at the number class. So the highest number there that you can find in that series is 4. Therefore, doon natin titignan ang mga valence electrons sa pinaka-highest na shell or the outermost shell. Bibilangin na natin yan. So we just have to add the exponent. So we have 2 plus 4. Therefore, ang kanyang valence electron ay 6. Okay? Again, titignan natin ang pinakais number and then doon tayo mag add ng mga electrons. Okay? Um, the, the electrons occupying the highest um, the shell or the outermost shell, doon lang natin i-considered as the outermost shell. So, ipag-add lang natin yan, i-combine natin to get the valence electron. So, in this particular example, so we have 6 valence electron kasi we have 4 is 2, 4 P4. So, pinag-add ang 2 plus 4. Then, we come up with 6. And then, the core electrons naman. So, i-add lang natin lahat. So, we have 28 um, core electrons. So, now let's go with the predict table. At meron tayong technique dito class para mapabilis ang ating pag-determine ng ating valence electron. So, tatadal natin ating mga fault set. Okay? So we have predictable groups, okay? Ang tawag na group. So the columns of the predictable are called group. So yung naka vertical diyan, ang tawag sa kanila ay group. Okay, pag naka horizontal naman class, yung horizontal, ang tawag naman doon ay um of course instead uh, aside from row, period. Okay, we have predictable groups. So columns on the predictable are called groups. So yung pa vertical, ang tawag din ay group or in other words, tawagin din siyang family. So, we have yung ma-colored lang. So, elements in the same group have similar chemical properties. This is because each group has the same number of valence electrons. So, as you notice class, yung ma-colored um, portion ng dyan, yun ang ating i-gagamitin mamaya sa ating uh, valence electron. Yan. So, let's begin class. So, yan. Take note. Okay. The valence electrons in group. Ito na. So, elements in the predictable are arranged in groups. Each group has the same number of valence electron. So, ibig sabihin class, yung manaka number dyan, we have group 1A, group 2A, group 3A, 4A, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, sir, bakit di sinasama yung sa gitna? Those are B elements. Okay? So, ang ating i-considered lang ngayon ay yung mga A elements. Alright. So, lahat ng mga elements class na nabilong sa group 1A, ang kanyang valence electrons ay positive uh, no, ang kanyang valence electron ay 1. Okay? Take note. Ang kanyang valence electron ay 1. Now, next. Lahat naman ng elements under, okay, column 2, ang kanyang valence electrons or outermost electrons ay 2. Then we have 3 for 3A, 4 for 4A, 5 for 5A, 6 for 6A, 7 for 7A, and class 8 class natin i-consider kasi itong mga elements um, 
uh, found in column 8 are inert gas or noble gases. So, these are stable. Okay, so what does it mean by stable? Ano yung sabi ko na stable na po siya? So, we have rule actually. And that is called octet rule. The octet rule states that atoms like to have 8 valence electrons. Okay, yun ang mga stable atoms. The atoms that have 8 outer shell electrons are stable and non-reactive. So, non-reactive na siya. So, again, that is based in octet rule. Okay, so let's proceed now to electron configuration. Okay, so let us define first what is electron configuration. So, let's base in your module. So, it is being stated here that um, electron configuration is the distribution or arrangement of electrons in an atom. We can also use the predict table to be able to know the location of electrons in an atom. So, ayan po. The electron configuration describes how the electrons are distributed in the various atomic orbitals. All right, all right, all right. First one is the SPDF notation. So for the SPDF notation class, um, for example, we have an element or atom, hydrogen. So atomic number is 1. So this is how we're going to write the um, SPDF notation. First, meron tayong 1. Okay, 1 for the value of energy level, S for the sublevel, and 1 for the atomic, the number of electrons. Okay, the second way will be the orbital box notation. So, in orbital box notation, for example, helium has atomic number 2, first electron is 2. So, we have 1s2. So, in the box, so, it only contains the maximum electrons will be at most 2. So, 1, uh, isang pata, isang pababa. So, the arrow shows electron spin. That's 1 half or negative 1 half. Okay, those are the two ways um, in writing or presenting an electron configuration with SPDF and box notation. So, at this point, okay, here is a step-by-step -step procedure to write the electron configuration of an element. Let us take neutral oxygen as an example. So, in your module class. So, number one, first, look at the details of the given element in the predict table. So, for example, we are, we are um, using oxygen atom as an example we have O so the mass is 15.994 surrounded to 16 and it has atomic number 8 that is the first step identifying mass number and first the atomic number for the second step identify the elements atomic numbers since the element is neutral the number of both protons and electrons are equal in this case we are interested with electrons so we all know this one already so again, if the atom is said to be neutral or zero charge, no charge at all, so the number of electrons, number of protons, as well as the atomic number is the same. So in this case, um, atomic number, protons, electrons of oxygen is equal to 8. For the number 3 class, use the diagram below to write the electron configuration of oxygen following the arrow. Okay, here is the tip in writing the electron configuration first. So, we just have to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then write S2, lahat. Then the second column would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then write P6, okay, lahat P6, and then the third column will be D10, okay, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 4 and 5. So, you start from the top, parang zigzag lang yan. Alright, so our first example will be boron atom. So as you can see in the picture class, we have boron um, that has atomic number 5. So ano ba ang sekreto ng electron configuration? So as we all know, it shows the distribution of electron. So we have this orbitals. We have S, P, D, and F. So ano ba ang mga function ito? So the S could only contain or could only hold up to two electrons. So, ibig sabihin yan, pwede siyang bumaba, but then not exceeding two. So, hindi siya pwede dalagpas ng two. For the P level naman, so it can only hold up to six electrons the maximum. So, it can only, uh, it can be P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, but not P7. 
Ayan, so pwede siyang bumaba, but then hindi siya pwedeng sumobra doon. And for our D naman, it can only contain the maximum is 10 electrons. So, it could be D1, D2, D3, up to D10. So, itong mga D, mga 1, or the exponent, yun po ang ating mga electrons. So, again, um, can have lesser value, but not, um, you know, above 10. So, it cannot be D11. And for the last orbital natin, if you we have F um, orbital, if this atom is too large. So, malaman natin yan pag ang atomic number niya ay napakataas o napakalaki. So, the F orbital can be utilized. So, we have F1 up to 14. Now, using the electron configuration chart, so, nalaman natin that in writing, so, we 1s, 2s, and then down to 7s. In the second column naman, we have um, P, then you just have to add 2, then going down the number, and then of course the third column will be the D and F. So only, only um, consider the idea that in every orbital, so lalagyan natin ang 2, consider the maximum electrons that each orbital can hold, or hanggang saan na niya kaya. Now, in our first example, makikita natin dito class is boron. So I am going to present first the video. Alright, so for you to understand, so I'm going to present this video and I'm going to um, discuss after, okay? So again, stay focused, check this out. Okay, so you have watched the video. So again, boron has five electrons. So again, so using the chart class, so mag start with us on 1s and then lagay natin ang 2 um, as exponent or electron. So back with 2, kasi going back to our lesson, the s orbitals can hold up to 2 electrons. So since kulang pa siya, hindi pa tayo umapot sa 5. So akit, so bababa pa tayo sa 2s. So 2s, 2. So, bakit natin siya 2s1? So, hindi tayo yung pwedeng gumamit ng lesser value kasi nga hindi pa natin na-reach yung number, yung pinaka-target natin na maapot ng 5. So, hanggat wala pa siyang 5, so you can use the maximum number of electrons. So, again, so since 4 pa lang, so kulang pa ng isa, so you have to move up and then, of course, 2p and then... Uh, since 1 na lang po ang kulang, so as you can see, the P holds up to 6 electrons, so therefore, we could only use 1. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, so adding all the electrons class, so that as we have 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5. So yun po, so sir, bakit tayo P1 po nag-stop? It's because yun lang po ang kailangan natin electrons to fill, to complete the uh, what you call the electrons orbital, right? So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, and that's the electron configuration. Alright, so how to get naman the valence electron for that? So simply is that, so titignan na natin, ang ating valence electron natin is yung i-add lang natin class, yung pinaka-highest, okay? Looking at the number, yung coefficient of 1 and then 2. Of course, ang pinak-highest value is 2. So, lahat ng exponent na andun sa highest value, i-add lang po natin. So, we have, in this case, we have 2s2, 2p1. Therefore, i-add natin ang 2 plus 1 at yun ang kanyang maging valence electrons. So, ang valence electron niya ay nasa, okay, ang valence electron niya is 3. So, makikita natin yan sa group number 3. Okay, simple as that. Okay, in our next video, we have chlorine. So, ganun din yung process class. So, 1s2, um, um, then 2s2, then so 4 na po siya, then another one. We have 
2P and then look at that 2P6 okay talagang maximum electron na po so 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 so kulang pati ng 7 that's why we move to 3S 3S2 so 12 na po so pala na lang siya 5 then up 3P and then so anong kulang para magiging ang makompleto yung 17 is 5 that's why 3P5 so ang ating electron configuration now is 1S2 2S2 and then, of course, ending to 3D5. So, ayan po. So, do you get me? Do you understand now? Alright. Okay, so yun lang po kadali ang ating video. So. Alright, to continue class for your own learning, okay, here is vanadium. Can you see and check for yourself? Alright. Okay, same thing the process. We have 1S2, 2S2. So, our goal is to reach or the level atomic number 23 or the proton. So, kailangan maabot nila yung 23. Pag hindi pa tayo maabot, huwag tayo mag-stop. Okay? Para hindi tayo maligaw, use the electron configuration chart. Ganun na kasi yun. So, in this case class, since ang ating pinakamataas na number ay 4, so doon tayo kukuha ng valence electron sa 4S2. So, remember that. Alright? So, again, remember the goal is to describe the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus. And also, we can use this information to predict how atoms will form chemical bands. So that's it. So that's all about electron configuration. Now, as we saw before we end this video, I'd like you to answer this. Check your understanding. So kindly answer that one, and then again, as we saw, um, after you have answered that question, please um, submit that one or post that in the comment section. Write your name in the first section. And um, if you have some questions, then you can also ask using our um, comment section. Alright, so I think I have clearly discussed all of these concepts. The essential thing that for you to understand better about valence electron, electron configuration, as well as how to use periodic table of elements. Again, thank you for watching this video lesson. It will be our last lesson in the third quarter. So I hope na marami kang natutunan by watching our video lesson. And of course, I do appreciate my colleagues as always, Sir Chen and Ma'am Jill. At sa lahat ng mga students na hawak din niya, lahat ng mga sections na nag-cooperate to answer. So it, it really means a lot for us teachers. So thank you and again, see you in my next vlog. See you for another meaningful learning experience here in our video lesson for our singular learning. So bye everyone and stay safe.